Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use our gland connectors. This is an M20 coupler connector. It has the glands already built in. And then I have, uh, this one is a screw terminal type. So you've got screw terminals to make your connections. This is a four conductor. It's got four contacts. And then we have our screwless type, a little bit larger in size. Accomplishes the same thing. And it comes with different size gland connectors depending on the diameter of wire that you're using. So we'll get started with this one first. Here's the tools that you're going to need for this. For the screw, screw type, you're going to need this small miniature, get you to zoom in there, flathead screwdriver. You can use a couple of channel locks, a couple of crescent wrenches, but you just need something to be able to grab onto. It's like a nut or a socket. And then some wire strippers. So the reason that you'll use some of these is if, if you're making an outdoor connection, these are completely waterproof. They can be submerged up to three meters in depth and stay watertight. When the gland connector closes, the rubber gland inside sort of fastens down onto, onto the wire, keeping it completely waterproof. And it'll accommodate different size wires. So if you've got a larger wire or cable on one end, and a smaller cable on the other, you can make that connection and have two different diameter wires. Got a lot of great applications for these. They come in handy for different types. You can do um, grease connectors. I found that the grease connectors aren't consistent. You have to have the right amount of grease in there. Um, over time they do corrode and rust and I've never really had an issue with these. The only time I've had an issue is if the wire insulation strip back is not all the way inside the connector. So the reason that you would use this, at least for products in our store, is a lot of users have an older, older type connection on their adapter. So this is a, what we refer to as an A-tip connection. And this A-tip adapter, A-tip connection, uh, they don't really make this on adapters anymore. They do have some, but more often we have um, a customer that has an older lighting fixture or older lighting device and has this type of connection and you'll need to go to a newer type of connection like a C-tip which is the most common size used or a B-tip. difference in, in the two of these is you've got a, a little divider and there's a different depth. The pin spacing is about the same. It's got the, the notch for the keyway at the bottom but the B-tip has a divider and the C-tip does not but they generally will fit the same adapter. You can do a a B tip on a C tip female and vice versa and it'll work. So let's get started. We're going to use a just a cable here to demonstrate and again this would be you cutting off this male plug that can't fit this adapter uh, in lieu of crimping on or attaching uh, a B tip or C tip connector so that you can take your existing lighting fixture and wire and accommodate a newer style adapter. It makes it completely waterproof to use outdoors or indoors. It's all low voltage, it's safe, but if you make this as a raw splice, chance are it's going to fail sooner rather than later. So you order one of our C-tip cables or B-tip cables or A-tip or what, whatever your application is. Uh, the, the cables come in anywhere from 15 to 20 foot length. You can pull off as much as you need. For this example, I'm just going to cut off maybe about 10 inches here. I'm going to use this B tip cable. Take your wire cutters, cut it, and then you've got two inside wires and, and an outside jacket. So you can take your wire strippers, cut the insulation back on the jacket, about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more, and now you've got a positive and a negative cable. And generally, maybe about 10 millimeters, quarter inch to a half inch is good. <clears throat> because if you have too much hanging outside of the outside of the coupler, then you're going to have wires exposed. And when that gland fastens down on the two wires, it's going to leave the, the connection exposed. The goal here is, do this by hand, the goal here is to have that thing watertight. Okay.
Okay, so the exact amount that you're going to strip back can vary. Generally about 10 to 15 millimeters is good. I'm going to cut a little bit more off. And then you're going to strip back the insulation. on your positive and negative cable just like that you open up your gland connector pop out the insert you can put it in one side or the other it doesn't matter we'll do this side put the cap on first that's the locking nut slide it through the connector Screw that on so we don't lose it there. Okay. And then you've got two of these that you're going to open up with the screw terminals. You're going to have to do this on both sides. Make sure you put them in the two that you, you spliced open. And then fasten them. Okay. Okay, now you got one side connected. We're going to do the same thing on the other end. Go ahead and loosen the two screw terminals of the corresponding color, red to red, black to black on the opposite side. And then we're going to take the cable from your device, your lighting fixture. Remember, previously this had a, an A tip on it, or whatever your connection is. And we cut that off. So we're taking that connection to a C. Repeat the same. Go back maybe about 10 millimeters. Too much off that one. Okay, got a red and black. Okay, I'm gonna go through the back of the gland connector on the opposite side. Up color, got red to red, black to black. So now the connection is made, we're going to slide together the gland connector. That connection terminal will go inside, and it you can't see here, but it has a rubber gasket here, and that will keep it watertight, so no, nothing will get past the threads. You don't have to put Teflon tape or anything on. I'm just going to hand tighten this and what you're going to see here when we tighten it by hand is that gland is going to close all gaps around it and use our pliers just to get an extra turn okay. And that's it. It's just that easy. On these DC voltage circuits, adapters, and lights, you've only got two conductors. And so that's very simple and straightforward. This is completely waterproof. It can be submerged. You don't have to worry about snow. You don't have to worry about rain. Nothing's going to get in there. Just make it nice and tight. And now you've basically taken what would only fit 
um, an A tip, this older style connection, and you have made it into a B tip or a C tip. So whereas that, if I plug this into a C tip adapter, see it doesn't fully seat. You've got a gap there. I can't even get that threaded connector because it's, it's a different diameter anyway. I mean, you can technically plug this in, it'll fit, and it'll work, depending on which way you turn it for your polarity. And if you're using it inside, you could wrap this with electrical tape, it'll work. If you use it outside, it's a matter of time before it'll fail. You don't want to do that. And so now you have a, a lighting fixture that can plug right into the right into the adapter. Easy. So that's that splice with the screw terminal connector. Now I'm going to show you how to use the screwless type and perform the same procedure. All right, so here's our screwless type. And it comes with two different size gland connectors depending on the diameter of wire that you have. So for a larger cable like this, this larger gland can handle that diameter. But it's too big for the smaller diameter cable and it won't close down the wire to give you that waterproof seal. So we're going to use the ones that are already installed. I'll open it up. And this is a five conductor. It's got levers on it. You basically put the wire in, close the lever. Easy. All right, so we're going to put our cable in. And these are color marked, make it easier to match up on the other side. So we're going to do, we'll just do yellow and blue. Pull off a little bit more insulation on the jacket since this is a larger connector. So go yellow in there. And then we're going to do black into the blue contact. That's done. It's connected. You don't have to use a screwdriver. And again, you see the yellow gaskets to make it watertight. Open up the other side. Take our cable. We're going to strip a little bit of the jacket back. So we did yellow and blue. The positive terminal to yellow. Negative terminal to blue. And then close up the connector. So the connection is made. I hand crank this guy. Sealed up. See that gap? We're going to close the connector. Tighten the gland. And we're done. So this one installs a little bit faster because you don't have to fool around with the screw terminals, but if the size is, is an issue for you in your installation, um, this model is going to be preferable. I personally like these. These are new on the market. IP68 rated waterproof. They can be submerged up to 3 meters. And this is easy for changing out an A-tip connector, or older style, to a B or C connector so you can use a new adapter. Two wires, very simple. Shouldn't take you more than five minutes. You just need a couple of tools. I mean, you could technically hand crank this if you got a strong enough grip and just use a couple of uh, a couple of tools like a screwdriver for one and the wire strippers if you need that. And these will make permanent connections. And then we also have three-way connections. So if you have a line or a, a circuit that you need to branch off, this will split and power two fixtures. It's a different type of lighting in installation, but this will take you light to take a circuit and branch. So if you're running multiple fixtures in a series, uh, in, in the situation of the Costco reindeer, you've got three reindeer, you want to power in one adapter, you could technically do that, accomplish it with our three-way cable or the splitter. But these are great. 
and they make changing out wires and connections a, a snap. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you for watching.